you all. I'm E-Man. And this evening, what we're going to do is, we're going to review Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine. And for those of you who watch Moonshiners on Discovery Channel, you know that Tim Smith, one of the main moonshiners on the show, has gone legal and now he's making moonshines that we all can enjoy out of a distillery in Kentucky called Limestone Distillery. And uh, he's got a real nice bottle here, got a picture of his dog on the front, Camo, and a uh, nice, nice looking bottle here. And I was surprised that I went on the internet, it's November 21st, 2013, and there's not a review out there on this product anywhere to be found. So I'm going to try to get into this and see what it's all about, and hopefully we can enjoy it together. Alright, so anyway, uh, when, you, when, you, when you first read the uh, label here, it says distilled from uh, corn, malted barley, and rye. Now the rye took me for a little loop because rye, uh, for those of you who drink bourbons like these great ones over here, know that rye imparts a great note to a lot of spirits. So whether it's George Stagg or Noah's Mill or Very Old Scout from Smooth Ambler, these are all great expressions of, of bourbons that use rye, but we're talking about moonshine here that's using rye. So I'm real curious to get into this and, and take a little nip of it and tell you what, what I think of it. So uh, let's get a glass and uh, pour it and see what it's all about. All right. So the first thing you can see is, here it is right here. We're swirling it up a little bit to get it rocking and rolling. You can see that it's nice and clear. There ain't no bugs floating around here. There ain't there ain't no floaters or anything like that. This is this is uh, unadulterated, but it's it's perfectly clear the way the spirit should be. The color is nice and clear. Let's take a smell of it. Yeah, man, a lot of corn coming off that nose right there. Corn is what you want. A good moonshine has corn. You can smell the corn. You get a little bit of the spicy notes from the rye, a lot of the goodness from the malted barley. Let's take a little taste, see what we think. Mmm. It just lasts and last the finish is, is phenomenal this is what you want in a moonshine if you've ever had the backwood stuff and you had some good stuff like popcorn something made or somebody else like that you know that when you get a moonshine that is just well balanced got a little sweetness to it got a little spicy character to it then you know you've got a good moonshine and if I had to rate this now, I'd easily give this a 10 out of 10 because I feel that of all the legal moonshines that are out on the market, there's quite a few of them out there right now, that this is the best one out there that's, that's, that's been released, period. Um, I've had a lot of them and I can honestly say that this is, this is the real deal. It's, it's only 90 proof. I, I know some of you may be used to 120, 130, 140. But the flavor you get out of this at 90 proof is astronomical. And uh, the finish, like I said, I still taste it. I'm going to take one more sip because I like it so much. Can't beat this. This here is a good product. This here is a great product. I look forward to uh, buying many bottles in the future. And uh, I hope what we did this evening by talking a little bit about this spirit has encouraged you to all go out and try Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine. I'm not paid by the company. I'm a fan of the show. I like Tim. I'm going to meet him this weekend at, at an event here in Baltimore. But, um, and I'm excited about that too. But I can honestly say that he has put out one hell of a product. And you all need to get out there, get yourself a bottle, sit down by the fireplace, uh, get yourself something to eat, whatever, and, and try this product because 
This right here, uh, for a legal moonshine, is about as good as you're ever going to get it. And on that note, I uh, toast Tim. Tim, good job. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm E-Man. Take care.